good morning good afternoon good evening depending on what time you're watching this video i have found so much joy in taking care of my house plants i am a proud plant mom and it's something that i find so mindful it helps me practice mindfulness either it's the first thing i do once i get ready for my day or just in between my working from home meetings and calls. It just takes my mind off of everything. I like to talk to my plants when I water them. I know it's silly, but I really find so much peace and calmness when I'm doing this. To help me be a better plant mom, I came across a video on Skillshare by Spencer Falls. They call him the unlikely florist. Spencer has a class on Skillshare about caring for your houseplants and it's simple, straight to the point. It's been recorded live and he takes you through just what to do when you have um, houseplants, what to do with a struggling houseplant, reporting, routine, and so on and so forth. So it's a nice, charming little video that anyone can watch, follow through, and, you know, sharpen their skills when it comes to being a plant mom. If you don't know about Skillshare, this is an online learning platform where creative and curious minds come together with a common goal of enhancing their skills, learning new skills, sharpening what they already know. The classes vary from photography to blog post writing to flower arrangements to learning new languages and everything in between. So if you are keen on this, I would love you to experience Skillshare. I'm leaving a link down below and the first 1,000 people to click on that link are going to experience Skillshare premium free for one month. You had that right. Remember, Skillshare is about choosing your time wisely, doing things that bring you peace, joy, and most of all, mindfulness. Happy learning. No sooner than... Hi, welcome to my vlog. Can you hear the pounding? It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Ah, it's not always like this. It's not always pounding. It's much more calmer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's construction happening. There's a penthouse above where I live. I'm sure the penthouse owner is working hard to renovate their penthouse. Um, also drink every time I say penthouse. So <laughs> there's been a lot of hammering for the past couple of days. I think they're doing the final touches and whatnot, but regardless, we move. So welcome to my channel. My name is Nelly. If you're new here, hi, welcome. Our community is growing. We're I think at 20,400 or something. Uh, that's a lot of humans. So thank you so much for joining our little community. Um, I talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle. There hasn't been much traveling, maybe just within the country. Um, but yeah, travel, motherhood, everything in between. Just life. I just talk about life. Just, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy what you see today, please make sure you subscribe. You share this video, leave a comment. If you're new, I'd like to hear from you and where you're, you're from, which part of the country, which part of the world. That would be nice. Um, and also share with your friends. Thumbs up this video. Uh, it just helps with the reach it helps with the algo everything's about algo these days but it just helps with the reach and this video going as wide as and as far as possible so i appreciate you for that if you're an oldie and a goodie welcome back my darlings welcome 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 Fix video oh the pounding has gotten worse the pounding has gotten worse Anyway, on to this week's video. I'm super excited because I'm sitting here. I want to unbox something that would have been potentially be my wedding shoes, but they're not. My wedding shoes are on their way here. I found my shoes. I found my shoes. But that's another video. That's another video. So for this week's video, I just wanted to quickly do this unboxing and maybe just we can hang out a little bit, you know, you and I. I do have an event for Tankari on Sunday. Maybe you can come with. Today's Friday, if I didn't say. This Friday, I'm wearing a bright orange jumper. This is old from the Geek Boutique because it is freezing. We are in the middle of winter, guys. Um, yeah, Nairobi weather has just taken a turn. It is the June, it is June 25th today. And so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to do my best to cheer myself up working from home has been crazy 
but yeah small things like gifts like this and like taking care of my plants and things just always makes me feel ex you know happy and happy just happy it lifts my spirits but yeah so on to the video this is flannels this is the place i got these shoes from so this is the bag this is the bag uh, it came it came with this usual courier thing but this bag is from flannels it says f at the front for flannels flannels is a luxury website where you can buy luxury items of when you can buy luxury items um from various designers so like the designer i chose for this particular item um they use so basically let me try and explain this people like flannels netaporte my teresa and so on and so forth are sort of like um hubs yeah they're sort of like hubs where luxury designers can put their things and then you can buy from them just because maybe they don't have that wider reach and you know they're not louis vuitton or chanel or Hermes who want to be exclusive so they don't have a problem these luxury designers don't have a problem having their products sitting in other websites uh for you know for wider reach and so on so the item i got was from flannels i am very happy it came very fast unfortunately i um I can't tell you guys the shippers I used. So flannels is in the UK. This is actually, yeah, it's from the UK. However, I can't tell you guys um, the shippers I used just because <sighs> shippers are, are very disappointing. They're very, it's very iffy. It's very up and down. I can recommend someone to you and then you have a bad experience and then you peg that on me and I'm forever the poster child for your bad experience so for that i do not have a shipper i can recommend internationally from dubai to nairobi i have used malahide i love them they are fantastic that's who i use if i need something from dubai one thing to note about dubai is things are a little bit more expensive than the usual so if you shop even zara if you're shopping zara from dubai just know you're paying a little bit more than if i'm buying zara from the uk with that said yeah i did ship this from the uk to nairobi I am in Nairobi and um, they came in a week they got to the shippers address last week and last week I think Friday and today is Friday and I have them in my house because they came yesterday evening I've been dying to unbox this so the brand ta -ta -ta -ta, as you can see is Javin Torossi oh my god should I tell the camera okay wait I don't think I've done any shoe unboxings here, although I do have a few luxury or uh, designer shoes, which I got some before my days on YouTube, one or two while I was on YouTube, but I just never really did unboxings. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is them. Open the box. Just a cardboard box with the branding. It looks just like that. These, I believe, are the dust bags. Oh, it's just one why do we have one giavanto there we go it feels like a nice um it's not cotton there's a bit of like silkiness to it satiny this is giavinto rossi milano shoes like so the paper says giavinto giavinto everywhere oh my god and here are what was supposed to be my wedding shoes guys so this is the first one oopsie and this is the second one oh my god they are gorgeous they are so gorgeous look at those so i just have i'll take one out so i love them because one they're gold and i will be wearing like gold jewelry on my wedding day my wedding band is of course obviously gold but look at these oh they're so stunning i love that they had this strap detail so your foot is kind of secured in here and it gives you comfort um to walk around and all that like stability as much as the heel is quite high i think it's four inches isn't she just gorgeous i got them in my size which is size 39 we're gonna do a bit of testing walking around and so on oh, let me just take the other one Oh, and they come with a little thingy bob 
I'm assuming what's in here is just this, the heel tab. In case this one gets worn out, um, they've given me two. I can feel there are two others. Actually, yeah, there are two others, others in here. Oh, and if you like my money, my manicure, this is Tef. Tef is the one who did this. It has purple sort of lilac tips. There we go. It's quite nice. I like it. But yeah, so there's my uh, luxury Giavanto Rossi unboxing. Um, let me just try them on now. Oh, there's a little sticker thing, Bob. Let me just try them on now for you guys. Um, it's not focusing. It's fine. Let me try this on for you guys and then we can see if how we like them. Okay. All right. Yay. Oh, so I must admit that I ordered myself a coffee. I wanted, I didn't want to make one at home. I just wanted a nice treat. I was craving a vanilla latte. I also went ahead and ordered a croissant. I must admit it is not my feeding window. Um, I should be eating at one o'clock. It is nine minutes to noon. So I was having breakfast in solidarity with my fiance because he has a match today, a polo match. We normally fast together, uh, the intermittent fasting. But because he has a match at one o'clock, it's important, it's paramount that he eats some carbs, gets some energy for the polo game in the afternoon. So um, in solidarity, I had breakfast with him as well because he was having like eggs, bacon, uh, croissant and coffee. And so I also went ahead and just... You know, solidarity, yay. So I also had a bit of breakfast. I haven't finished my croissant yet, it's still there. I love the almond croissant from Java or at Cafe. They're my best um, type of pastry to have from those two. The, the pounding continues. And then I'm just having a vanilla latte. I was really craving one. Um, mm. He saw the shoes, he approves, he loves them. He thinks they're really, really dainty like they're cute they're dope they're dope babe they're dope no but actually <laughs> he likes them i was like wait till you see the real thing mm. Mm. so those will be here next week so i will do an unboxing of those as well um my wedding dress is already here it is in this house he hasn't seen that he hasn't seen that yet oh he hasn't seen that yet he's not supposed to that he'll see on my wedding day right right but the wedding dress is within it's within it's um to describe it simple elegantly simple that's it the style of the shoes again I, the style of the show again i said it will be the shoes and maybe my makeup um yeah my phone is going off the hook this means i need to get back to work um i will be going to the polo club to watch um the tournament it starts today there's a tournament called the horseman cup it starts today so i will be going there to catch that this afternoon and then it continues on tomorrow um as well as sunday but for sunday i won't be there because i'll be at chamba for tankery so <clears throat> then i think you'll be able to come with me to that otherwise let me just wrap up over here then we can head to the polo club yeah okay so i am heading out i wanted to show you guys my outfit uh, my full outfit of the day my hair is being held back by this louis vuitton scarf um i think i unboxed this with you guys sometime last year but it's just that scarf my sweater is orange a jumper from the geek boutique it's very old my jeans are from studio fit the clean cut i got this very old, uh, long time ago they're very old i got them i think in 2019 and my shoes are just this um, Oxford type, type style of shoes. I just want a bit of a heel and they're leather and they're comfortable. And so, yeah, that is the outfit of the day. So I'm going to be at the polo club. Maybe I'll show you guys a, a snippet or so of the games that are going on. Um, if you want to see what's happening at Nairobi Polo, make sure you follow their page on Instagram. I will leave it linked down below. If you want to be a member as well, you can just go to their website and get the membership forms and get all that sorted. But yeah, so let's head out. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
I'm so sorry yesterday I didn't film anything while I got when I got to the polo club I was doing a bit of running around however today I will make sure that I catch some polo action with this camera uh, but yeah so I I pulled up to the club and I think I did an insta story before and you've seen the logo on the Nairobi polo club gate it looks so beautiful um, very instagrammable um, but yeah so yesterday was a good day I got home at about 7 uh, dinner relaxed all that jazz today is Saturday morning and I've gotten a few requests to show you guys how I make my coffee because uh, I was told I always um, time-lapse I always time-lapse the process so I'm gonna show you with the shortest steps possible how I make my coffee um, first things first I make my coffee using the espresso this espresso machine um the company is called express i think i showed this in one of my other videos you can get this from vito zote um or from john lewis i also saw john lewis have um one of these but yeah so it looks just like that we have a big size because we are coffee drinkers so first things first i put water let me put this down so you open it by <laughs> twisting it just like that and just like that so you put water in here and you put coffee ground coffee in here so usually I will buy coffee beans and I would grind them I have a coffee grinder and put the coffee in here or if you already have grounded coffee just put it in here and if you want it very strong then you put more coffee if you want it lighter then you put less coffee um, one of my subbies told me to always use um, like mineral water like um, what's the word decanted what not decanted but not tap not tap water and I've been using my bottled water so that's what I use for my coffee thank you so much for that tip I don't remember who that was but thank you it's changed how my coffee tastes uh, drastically so I put water here I put coffee here then put it on the stove and let it boil so while that's on the stove I well Calvin wanted us to make pancakes this morning and so that's what we're going to be doing next um, you gonna say hi he's, he's really waving at the camera say hello hello Say hi. Hi. See so your tooth? Is your tooth? This tooth is coming out. Which one? This one. There you go. Yeah. You're no longer Mapengo. What are you doing? You see, it's actually a very beautiful Saturday morning. We haven't had this kind of morning in a while where the sun just came out and it's so bright and the rays were coming into the room. It's just beauty. <laughs> she look at him, what he's doing. He's so funny. The sun was just coming into the room and it was just nice and orange so it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good good day we can dress cute for polo hello so yeah um i'm looking forward otherwise let's make some pancakes as my coffee is brewing and then i'll come back um and show you how i make my cup okay So to make my coffee, I have this cup, which I love so much. I got it from Mr. Price. I have a haul, haul of homeware goods. It was one of the things I got. And then I next I take syrup. This is uh, caramel sauce. You can get this or the one I got before. It doesn't matter as long as it's caramel flavor because I like my coffee to taste like caramel. You just fill it up with as much caramel as you like, like so. So you just fill it up with caramel like so. The brand I got this time is quite hard. So yeah, it doesn't really move. The other one was kind of lighter. And then I add ice. So my coffee is cold and that's why I've added some ice and then next um, I take another glass I am lactose intolerant so I take lactose free milk um, put some 
in the use my milk for my interest next i take my coffee that's it at the bottom and i add my milk which sits at the top Tada! And you have the Nelly Special Caramel Quapi. There you go. Cheers. Mmm. That's a good cup of coffee. The pancakes are ready. Um, this is just the last one. And I want to make some sausages in the other pan. And then um, I think I'll talk to you guys next when I show you my outfit when we're heading out for Polo. Yeah? Alrighty. So this is the outfit of the day all ready to go to the Polo Club. I kind of struggled this morning with what to wear because I wanted to be like fun and flirty. And at the same time, I have an event tomorrow that requires the same kind of outfit. So yeah, this is what I came up with. On my head, I have the Christian Dior headscarf. My hair has just been brushed back. On my face, I have the YSL All Hours Foundation. And then for my outfit, I went with this romper. It's a, a thrift buy from Daya Stemma. I'll leave them linked down below. I've talked about them be before on my channel. But it's just the romper, short frills, really cute. It had these loops, but no belt. So I've just added my Valentino uh, belt. It's the medium size, I believe, because there's a skin, skinnier one than this and there's a bigger one than this. And then I'm carrying my Michael Kors bag. It looks just like that. It's a nice dark green color. And for shoes, I struggled between this one and my mango uh, sandals, but this one's worn. I just feel like they elongate my leg because they are clear and the heel is quite comfortable. And so, yeah, oh, this one's this mango. Yeah, so this one's worn. So, yeah, that's the outfit of the day. Um, it's a nice day for polo because the sun came out and i will be enjoying a very uh nice gnt under the sun so yeah let's go i'll try and film as much as i can otherwise it's a social event and i'm there to socialize i also have my mask and my own sanitizer in my bag i don't play okay all right oh my watch is cartier my earrings are very old they're from Woolworths. very very old uh, they've held up quite nicely years years old but yeah that's how that's how we're looking all right guys almost 10 a.m. if not a few minutes past 10 it is freezing so I'm wearing pajamas but I'm also wearing my dressing gown I feel like I'm in the fridge it is so cold we are in proper <clears throat> Kenyan winter and it's so funny because yesterday it was a beautiful sunny day I mean I wore a romper I wore a short romper versus today where I'm like I just have to go to this event in like a onesie <laughs> I, I i i am so i don't know what to wear guys oh my god ah, anyway we'll cross that bridge when we get there for now i am making tea yes tea 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 chai yamaziwa na tea bag i want chai so badly it's just so cold that's the only thing i think will really warm me up we woke up quite early today mm, by seven maybe ten past seven we were up um there is polo today but we're not going we meaning me and Howie. Fiance has already gone because he's playing at 10. 
um Kawi is gonna stay home the whole day today yesterday we had a bit of an incident he got an, allerg an allergic reaction to something maybe it was the grass or just something and his eyes were like really swelling up and there was swole and that was in pain sort of so anyway we, we handled that he's feeling much better now we got medicine and everything but i just wanted him Ooh, my milk almost muggy cut oh my god but yeah anyway um yeah we sorted that out and of course he's feeling much better now thank god but i just want him to rest um he was at the polo club most of the day yesterday uh, we just finished assignments and then I just want him to enjoy some cartoon and just have a kid weekend. So he's going to be home today. Um, I'm sure he's going to enjoy that a lot because, you know, the TV is all his and the iPad and Minecraft. Yeah. What you're hearing in the background actually is bold type. I've just put it now. I want to settle in and watch the bold type. Um, all four seasons are on Showmax. I am trying to catch up because the premiere and the finale, season five, is right around the corner. It will be premiering on Showmax as well. So I just want to catch up because I want to watch the season premiere with the rest of the world because I'm like so behind. I just started watching it maybe a month or so ago. But yeah, you guys love the bold type. For the longest, you've been like edging, edging me to go and watch it and i was just watching a bunch of other things before so yeah um i'm glad that i finally listened to you guys and that i am watching the ball type i love it i mean those girls feel like my bffs already i love their relationship i love that every one of them have something going on with their lives which is um something that i'm so pro when it comes to friendships i feel like you all need to be purpose driven it doesn't have you don't have to be on the same journey but you're on a journey you know what i mean so yeah um just gonna finish making my tea we go watch the bull type and then uh, at noon i'll jump in the shower get ready i'll show you guys what i'm wearing because i'm going to shamba there's a tankery event there today i had already committed to this weeks in advance <laughs> so there's no way i am backing out just because it's cold i would rather be in my pjs and socks the whole day but you commit i'm a woman of my word so let me just do that, make some tea, um, watch some TV, some just comfy TV, comfort TV, or just some chill time, and then I'll get ready. Yeah? All right. ready ready i have done a very very light beat this is um fix plus spray a very light beat um i have this gorgeous green dark green headband that i got as a gift by the time this video goes live i'm going to ask where this is from from the person who gifted it to me it's so beautiful i'm wearing green because i'm going for a tucker event so i want to be on brand so my green shirt from zara white pants um i took a poll on instagram and I asked if I should wear white pants or I should color block with pink pants. The white pants won, so that's why I'm wearing these. I'm going to show you a full uh, outfit picture very quickly before I dash out. I am running late, as usual. But yeah, I just wanted to do a close-up of my makeup. I like it. I'm wearing the YSL All Hours Foundation. And then um, I want to do a close-up of the shoes as well because I did not record this on Friday. I had to dash. I had so much work to do and I had to go to the polo club. So I didn't do a recording. So I'm going to do that now, but I will insert it at the very beginning. Um, yeah. So I'll see you at the mirror. And then we're off to Shamba restaurant with Tanqueray. I think this is the end of this vlog. Just after this will be B-roll from the event. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I should say that now before I forget. So yeah, let's go do a full outfit post. So this is the final outfit of the day. I've just added on my bag of choice for today. I'm carrying my Dior saddle bag with my uh, Dior strap. Um, I'll just fix this once I get in the car because I'm just rushing out now. But this is the outfit. It looks really cute and like elegant without too much of an effort. Uh, my shoes are really lightweight. Like, I feel like I'm not wearing any shoes. They're, like, so light. 
that makes them perfect for like walking around they're also not so high so i'm comfortable with this heel height the straps are just everything is just so light and like dainty i'm afraid i'm going to like cut them but we'll see how we survive um today uh but yeah they, they i like them just that the fact that they are light and i feel like i'm wearing anything on my feet is a plus and so yeah that's outfit of sunday let me head out because i'm running late thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on my next video sending you love and light peace